The Three Little Pigs. As told by Elizabeth Ross. Illustrated by Rawfree. Once upon a time, three little pigs left their mother's home and went out into the world. One was a lively little pig who liked to dance, and one was a happy little pig who liked to sing, and one was a smart little pig who remembered that the wolf was always about. Soon the little pigs met a peddler hauling straw. The first little pig said, Please, sir, give me some straw so I can build a house. The peddler gave him some straw and the little pig built his house. But straw is flimsy, so the little house was not sturdy. The second little pig waited until a peddler hauling sticks came along. Please, sir, he said, give me some sticks so I can build a wooden house. The peddler gave him some sticks and the second little pig built the house. But some of the sticks came loose. The new little house almost tumbled down. The third little pig waited until a peddler hauling bricks came along. Then he said, please, sir, give me some bricks so I can build a house. The peddler gave him some bricks. The third little pig built a strong brick house. It had a thick door and a big chimney. The three little pigs had just finished their houses and moved in when along came a hungry wolf. He stopped at the door of the straw house and called, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the little pig. Then I'll huff, roared the wolf, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. <clears throat> and he huffed and he puffed and he did blow the straw house in. But he puffed so hard that he blew the little pig right to the door of the wooden house. The second little pig opened the door and let his brother in. The wolf hurried to the wooden house and called, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, roared the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he did blow the stick house in. But he puffed so hard that he blew the two little pigs right to the door of the brick house. The third little pig opened the door and let his brothers in. The wolf scurried to the brick house and called, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, roared the wolf. He puffed and puffed and huffed and huffed. <sighs> but he could not blow in that sturdy little brick house. At last he gave up. Come with me tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, he called, and I'll show you Mr. Smith's fine turnip field. The next morning, the smart little pig got up at seven o'clock. He hurried to the field and pulled some turnips and he skipped back home again. At eight o'clock, the wolf came to the house. Are you ready to go to the turnip field, little pig? He called, smacking his lips. Oh, I went an hour ago, answered the little pig. Smell my juicy turnips cooking. Now the wolf was angry at being tricked, but he tried not to show it. Well then, he said kindly, come with me tomorrow morning at seven o'clock. I will show you the big apple tree in Merry Garden. The next morning, the little pig got up at six o'clock and hurried to the tree. He climbed in and was picking a basket of apples when the wolf came to the tree. Are the apples ripe? called the wolf. Yes, said the smart little pig. I will throw one down to you. The little pig threw the apple far, far from the tree. It rolled across the grass to a distant corner of Merry Garden and nestled there in a hard to find spot. While the wolf was chasing it, the smart little pig jumped out of the tree and scurried back to his brick house. The next day, the wolf came to the house again. Little pig, he called. Come to the fair with me tomorrow morning at six o'clock. We'll have a fine time seeing the sights. The next morning, the little pig got up at five o'clock and trotted off to the fair. He saw all the sights. He even bought a butter churn. He was on his way home when he saw the wolf coming towards him. The little pig hopped into his churn and began rolling over and over down the hill. He rolled right past the frightened wolf who had never before seen a butter churn. He rolled right to the door of the little brick house. 
The next day, the wolf came to the house. He told about the round thing that had frightened him. Oh, hi, 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 laughed the smart little pig. That was my butter churn. When I saw that you were coming, I jumped into it and rolled safely home. The wolf gnashed his sharp teeth in anger. You have tricked me many times, but you will never trick me again, little pig, he roared. I'm coming down the chimney to eat you. Quickly, he scrambled up on the roof of the brick house and made his way to the chimney. The smart little pig ran to the fireplace and whisked the lid off a pot of steaming water. When the wolf tumbled in, the little pig popped the lid in place, and that was the end of the wolf. The three little pigs danced all around the room. Do, 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 do. Then they settled down and lived happily ever after in the strong brick house with a thick door and big chimney. The end.